Um, it is Monday, and it's a little earlier. Dogs are barking at me. It's a little bit earlier in the day than normal, uh, but I had my workman's comp uh, doctor appointment thingy for my finger, uh, so I get to mow a little bit earlier. And uh, hey, this afternoon, my son has his second karate class. Check that video out. I'll link to it up here. I put it up on the other channel. The other channel is gonna turn into a catch-all channel. So this is my primary channel. This is my lawn service, pressure wash, side hustle channel. And occasionally, we'll get a little personal with some cooking um, and stuff like that. The other channel, Dan's Vlog 912, all one word, is gonna be my catch-all channel. We'll be doing some dirt bike riding. We'll be doing some maintenance on it on the dirt bikes, the mini bikes, some skateboarding, Nerf guns, shooting Nerf guns, target practice. Um, there's videos on there of my kids playing different things. It's gonna be streaming games. It's gonna be a catch-all. That's gonna be the other side of Dan that doesn't really have much to do with lawns and stuff like that. So side hustling, pressure washing, lawn mowing, you know, all that will be here. And the fruits of that the money that we make from side hustling and things will be shared on the other channel. Karate classes, um, different things that we're going to be doing as a family with my boys or streaming or gaming, you know, the things that, that we get to participate in uh, because of side hustling. So that's what that channel is going to be. That way people that are here aren't getting inundated with stupid crap you're not at all interested in. Um, if you just want to watch lawn mowing videos or pressure wash videos or maintenance on machines, mowers, weed eaters, and stuff like that, then this is the place you want to be. If you want to know the more personal side of me as well, then get with the other channel as well, Dan's Vlog 912. We'll be streaming. Now, the streaming is not necessarily um, only gameplay. During the stream, me and my son talk. I mean, I talk to my son's friends. So it's more personal with me, not just video games. Um, and then, of course, we have Tuesday Night Live, where every Tuesday night, we're gonna get down in front of my um, live stream rig, and I actually have contractors coming. We're gonna be building a studio here shortly. Uh, but the live stream setup will be for every Tuesday night from 6 p.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. on the west or, or 3 p.m. on the west coast and yeah if you're in uh becca <laughs> if you're in new zealand i'm not sure exactly what time that is and i think it was like 11 o'clock in the morning i believe your time um england uk lilybet i think you guys right now are five hours ahead you're about to be six hours ahead uh when we change our clocks back in a couple of months so fall, we fall back an hour, spring, we spring them forward an hour. Uh, so, but before we go mowing, um, I was doing live stream tests with my mobile rig and in the yard across the street. And what happened was my jaws broke. So let me show you what happened. When, when I went to start this, this pulled up, okay? Cause I, I, I let a bolt get loose and I didn't tighten it properly. And when this pulled up and the jaws came out, the jaws, See how the white jaws come out? The jaws got caught up on what they, what they touch and literally ripped the jaws out of here. So I was able to put them back in and you see, they work right. So no harm, no foul, just something quick maintenance thing I had to do. The moral of the story, if you know a damn bolt is getting loose on a $6,000 machine, tighten the freaking thing. Because I almost had a $6,000 paperweight sitting in the backyard had I messed this up too bad. Um, and this doesn't have a way of putting a pull cord to the start. See how it goes down? This goes in. There, there's no thing coming up that has the holes where the jaws catch, where you can tie a rope around it and then pull it. There's nothing like that. So if you break this, you're screwed. Um, so I was able to luckily fix it and finish the yard without any cost to me. Um, but it was pretty stupid of me to let that have happened. Uh, so just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. I am going to um, put this back together. We're gonna go mow a yard. Uh, then I'll go ahead and I'll do the edits 
You're on a Rode mic right now with a dead cat plugged into the AS20 Sony Action Cam 120 something dollar camera. Links are in the descriptions. If you're interested in vlogging or filming yourself, that's a, it's a pretty good setup right here. Let's give this a go. I'll meet you at the yard in just a couple minutes. So just in case you guys are wondering, my racks are still doing awesome. Uh, I got a video on installing them and how they work, how they lock and stuff like that. Really nice racks. Very inexpensive. And I did a little hack with the green touch racks with their little adapters to keep, keep the machines from flipping. Definitely, definitely nice. But we just showed up and uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to edge first and then mow and then we'll clean it up with the trimmer. Anything that we miss and then we'll blow it all in. Um, I owe you guys some reviews that are coming up. Uh, we're going to do the BG50 review, my honest thoughts on it. And um, of course, would I buy it again? Would I recommend it? Uh, we got some more reviews coming up. Of course, we got to do a big time review on the mower. Uh, but I think I think you guys know where that review's headed. So let's get busy. Okay, I want to give you guys an update about the blades. I'm still using the wavy blades, but I'm not cross blading with the two blades on one spindle and two blades on the other. So we're just using the wavy blades. Um, and what I did is I have the, the, the front of the deck down one hole and the top of the deck at three. So this one's at two and a half and this one's at three. And the reason why I did that is the bahia grass, the bean sprouts I call them, that are shooting up. Um, when it's on an angle like that, it, help, it helps get a better, um, better opportunity to chop those down uh, so that's what we're going to be doing it seems to be working i did it a few times last week last week it was a lot of rain i had to really rush through my yards so i didn't film but um, i'll make up for it this week all right uh, so i'm going to go ahead and start cutting so we're somewhere between three inches and two and a half inches
sometimes when I'm mowing, I'll pop the pedal and open the chute a little bit just to let a little pressure out in case clippings are starting to build up, but not leave it open because I don't want to blow clippings on a house, a car, or something like that. So you might see me go pop, pop, pop. That's not me missing the pedal. That's me clearing out underneath the deck. you are why do I cut in circles I'm not cutting in circles I'm kind of cutting in squares but it's because I don't have baffles on that mower uh, underneath I don't have I don't have them chambered off to where this is mulching and this is mulching um, if, if I did that with a mulch kit then that's permanent unless you get nuts and bolts and wrenches and remove it because I side hustle there's a very good chance that I might be cutting a nasty yard and in five minutes somebody might come get me and I'll be, yeah, I'll do it, because I'm side hustling. What the hell? Now those, those baffles would be a pain in the ass to have on the mower, so I don't use a mulch kit. I use the side door that opens and closes. With that said, the clippings keep getting directed to the right side of the deck. If I went back and forth as if I was striping, I'd constantly have a line of clippings every other time. Uh, and that would be terrible, because then I gotta go back over it again. So by going in a square or in a circle, I keep the clippings moving in until I get to a point where I uh, can go back and forth just a couple times and disperse them. That's why. But if you watch me with my Honda mower, um, or if you watch me when I'm bagging, or if you watch me when the yard's not tall, like in the fall and spring, then I can go back and forth and there's no clippings building up. So that's why.
question is why do I like handhelds so much? See these cars? I'll show you why. It's not the question of are handhelds better than backpacks or are backpacks better than handhelds. The question is what do I like better with the model of my business and it's handhelds for that very reason. Nothing on my back, don't have to worry about hitting cars, bumping cars, bending over to get the, to get the blower snorkel far enough. You can just reach with your hand as you saw and clean parking lots of cars in people's driveways. Doesn't mean it's better, it just works better for me. All right, guys, another successful lawn service completed. I was speaking to the customer in the backyard, let him know if the two weeks was too long, if he needs me to come any sooner to give me a call. Uh, but he was very pleased, and so I'm happy with that. He's happy with it, and uh, we just get on out of here. We'll pack it in for the day, start editing this video. Hopefully Monday night, the 26th, you will be watching this. And I will see you tomorrow live every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time for live Q&A and future shows with interviews and some pretty good stuff. All live. No scripts. No editing. And I will see you on the next one.